Okay, now for some quad stretches. First one I'll show you, you can do from the floor. I'm just gonna set up like this, like a little bit of a pretzel. I got the back of this foot down on the mat, and then I'm going to brace myself with this foot. It'll be up nice and tall, and then I'm going to lean away until I come down to my elbow. I'm going to tighten my butt and press my hip forward, and I'm just going to lean back here. The stretch gets initiated from having an engaged glute. So you can brace that glute with your back hand here. That's going to let the stretch keep going. If you relax, then you're going to lose the stretch. Then to come out, I would rotate forward like this and press up. Switch sides. Get the back of the foot down flat on a comfortable surface. Brace with the other leg. And then, nice and tall, you're going to sit back towards the elbow. Engage the glute. Brace with your other arm if you wish. You can do this in pulsing motions. Just don't give up the tension in your glute. Come out of that. Next up, you can do a standing quad stretch. This all along with something for balance, unless you're just used to standing on one foot. So, with the standing quad stretch, you're going to tighten, tighten your glute, and you're going to try and stretch here first before you stretch the quad. If you stay bound up and you only are bringing your hips forward or bending your back, you're not stretching your quad. That's just a bunch of cheating and hoopla. So tighten the glute, stretch the hip flexor. It should be pretty vertical. The thigh should be pretty much parallel to the other thigh. And then the more you pull on the foot, mostly straight up, you'll get that quad stretch. And if you see people doing stuff like this, Unless you're doing it correctly, just don't bother. Show other side super quick. I'll do a back here. You can do this with rhythm. Just don't turn it into the can on Twitter. Okay, enough that I can do that dance move anyway. You've seen my dance moves. All right, all of this is going to be for your torso. The first thing is the side bend. So you're going to lay a nice foundation. Your legs are going to be locked out. Your glutes are going to be engaged. You're going to have some tension in your abs. You're going to reach up straight towards the ceiling and get your lat engaged, get the whole arm reaching. It shouldn't just be da da, it should be in tension through the whole arm. Now you're going to side bend and stretch through the lats, through the teres muscles, through the obliques all the way down to your hip without doing a lot of extra displacing. You can displace a little bit, just don't go crazy. And you want to move perfectly to the side. So your arm should be in line with your head and everything is traveling sideways, not front or back. You don't want to look forward. So next, I'm going to reach up, get some intention running through the hand towards the ceiling. Going to get the stretch going down through the side of the body. And add in the breathing. You can do this as pulsing rhythmically. Or you can just hold the stretch. Next is the back bend. There's two good ways to do a back bend. The first is the yoga style, which I recommend starting out with extensively, probably for six months. And then the next is the back bridge style of back bend, which is working up to greater fitness feats. So I'll show you the yoga style first. You're going to stand with your feet close together. They don't have to be perfectly touching, but close, less than shoulder width apart. Clench your glutes. Engage your abs. You're going to bring your hands up in line with your head. Shoulders are packed. And you're going to just look up at the ceiling, maintain tension, and come forward. Keep reaching through the arms and think of lifting up, not just crunching back. As 
So not too much of the hips moving forward with this one. For the back bridge style, it's all about the hips and it's the, with the idea that you're gonna place your hands back on the floor behind you. That's not where we're gonna go with this one for just stretching purposes, but observe. We're gonna tighten the glutes, we're gonna engage the abs, and we're going to press the hips forward and soften the knees to displace as much weight forward as we're gonna put backwards. I'm gonna look back at the wall behind me, and then come up. So you really have to warm up your hip flexors prior to doing this, because they're gonna be a limiting factor for how much you can reach back. You really do not wanna push this. Your low back can be very fragile, especially if you've not been training extensively. You have to give your back time to build up to this. Uh, joints and ligaments can be very fragile compared to muscle, which can build up much faster. So. Work up to the stuff steadily. Start with that yoga back bend. Next, I'll show you some circling motions you can do just for your torso. So feet close together, soft knees. We're just gonna fall to the side. We're gonna come forward, look down towards your stomach, relax your head and neck, and come up the other side. And then reverse. Look down towards your stomach, let your arms dangle, and come up. You can also add in a little back bend to this. I'll show you that version. Feels very good on your thoracic spine to do this, especially after you've been gaming or just sitting, you've been at work all day. But that's how you do all your back bends and side bends. Good work, guys.